Africa is widely accepted to be the cradle of humanity. But after early humans evolved, there around 300,000 years ago, they didn't stay put. They explored and trekked all across the world. And by 12,000 years ago, humans had colonized basically every part of the globe. This massive migration and colonization of new lands is one of the most significant events in our species' history. But we're still trying to figure out exactly how it happened. It's like we know that this exodus from Africa happened, but not really why they left or when and where along the way they stopped and stayed for a bit. But scientists are working on it. By studying ancient DNA, fossils and artifacts, researchers have been able to piece together more of the story of early human migration. And in May 2024, they published a new study, which finally gave us some answers. It's like we unlocked another layer of an ancient mystery. Let's take a look at what we know so far. Hey there, welcome to my channel. The prevailing theory to explain this mass migration out of Africa is called the Out of Africa Model. It essentially says that modern humans arose in Africa around 300,000 years ago and then about 70,000 years ago. They began migrating north and east, eventually spreading to the rest of the world. Initially, this was thought to be a single migration event. But nowadays, scientists think that it was actually several migration waves spaced thousands of years apart. Each of these waves contained different groups of humans who carried their own unique genetic traits. For example, one genetic variant linked to the ability to digest dairy products came into being around 8,000 years ago in East Africa. Meanwhile, the ability to digest starch, which may have arisen independently in different parts of the world, is absent in people from North Africa and West Asia. This suggests that people from these areas likely did not descend from those early East African populations that acquired this trait. In other words, there were multiple waves of migration out of Africa, each with its own set of traits and characteristics. But according to the previous models, all of these waves originated from a single location in East Africa. However, a 2021 study published in the journal PNAS proposed something else. Scientists used sophisticated computer modeling and mathematical tools to analyze the population, genetics of modern humans from around the world. And what they found was that humans likely originated in what is today Western and North Africa. And after dispersing from there, they split into two main gene pools. One stayed in Africa and the other migrated into West Asia. The reason they chose to leave, according to the researchers, was because of environmental changes. Around 150,000 years ago, the climate in North Africa shifted and became more arid. And this forced humans to migrate either eastward into Asia or southward into sub-Saharan Africa. However, there was also a third population that remained in Northwest Africa until about 80,000 years ago, when a mega drought lasting for about 200 years prompted them to move into Europe. Now, while that 2021 paper certainly shook things up, it wasn't the final word. Some experts argued that the data could just as easily support the original out-of-Africa model. After all, humans did carry similar genetic markers, suggesting they did interbreed. Others pointed out that this new model didn't account for fossil evidence. For example, according to the out-of-Africa model, humans would have passed through Egypt on their way out of Africa. But so far, no human fossils older than 12,000 years have ever been discovered there. However, that argument doesn't hold water for the researchers behind the new study published in May. These scientists revisited the same data used in the 2021 paper and reached similar conclusions about when and where humans first left Africa. But this time, they incorporated climate data, archaeological evidence, and genetic information to paint a fuller picture of early human migration. They used something called approximate Bayesian computation to model the demographic history of humans. This method uses mathematical tools to estimate the likelihood of different demographic events, such as population size changes and migration events. Given what we know from the fossil record, archaeological evidence, and ancient DNA, using this approach, they found that humans likely originated in what is now Western Africa around 300,000 years ago, just like we originally thought. And between then and 130,000 years ago, they lived mostly in North Africa. But instead of migrating to Asia and Europe from a single location in East Africa, as the previous model suggested, this new research supports the idea that humans migrated from North Africa via two separate routes. The first migration route took them through what is now Saudi Arabia and the Arabian Peninsula into South Asia. Meanwhile, the second route led through the Levant into Europe. According to the researchers, both of these migration routes were likely enabled by the presence of the Red Sea. During that time, 
it seems that the Red Sea was much wider than it is now, which made it easier for humans to travel along its coast. Both of these migrations took place between 130,000 and 120,000 years ago, right before the last glacial maximum, and although the migration routes were established at roughly the same time, they took different amounts of time to complete. Humans arrived in South Asia around 120,000 years ago, but it took another 20,000 years for them to reach Europe. Now, what's interesting here is that during this migration, humans didn't go directly to the British Isles. Instead, they moved into the Iberian Peninsula, lived there for a while, and then expanded into the rest of Europe only after the last glacial maximum ended around 11,700 years ago. But why? Well, the researchers suggest that during the Ice Age, humans preferred living in warmer climates. So they likely retreated to refugia, or safe havens, in southern Europe during that time. Another thing that the team considered was the impact of culture on the spread of technology. According to them, humans likely developed the first stone tools in North Africa around 260,000 years ago. Then later on, humans from different regions specialized in making different kinds of tools. For example, humans in South Africa crafted tools from bone and stone, whereas those in North Africa made tools exclusively out of stone. As humans from different regions migrated, they shared their tool-making knowledge with one another. And by the time they reached South Asia, they had three distinct tool-making traditions. The Hawabata tradition was practiced by humans who came from North Africa and brought their tools with them. Meanwhile, the Kafan and the Ubaidia traditions developed independently in South Asia. This cultural exchange and technology transfer continued as humans migrated into Europe and eventually East Asia. In fact, the researchers think that one of the main reasons humans were able to colonize so much land so quickly was their ability to learn from one another. This cultural knowledge helped them adapt to new environments and develop new technologies, which in turn helped them survive and thrive in new territories. So there you have it. Thanks to new discoveries, we now have a clearer idea of how and when humans first left Africa and spread throughout the world. Of course, science never ends here. There will always be follow-up studies and new discoveries that challenge and refine our understanding of human migration. But this latest research is a significant step forward. It helps us appreciate the incredible journey our species has taken to get where we are today. And who knows what other secrets about our past we might uncover as science continues to advance. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out this playlist for more fun science shorts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. Thanks for watching. See you next time.